you, everyone. Just take your seat. I, I want to thank the mayor for once again uh, giving his unofficial State of the City address to the FBCA. It's been going on for years, but it's a wonderful tradition, and uh, we want to address the, uh, the administration's visions and what their goals are for the uh, next year. So without any further ado, I'd like to present uh, our mayor, Lorenzo Langford. were an astonishing 99.9%. Additionally, we completed two bond issues that reduced long-term debt and cost and served to refund large tax credits to casino properties. One of the most difficult issues my administration has to deal with is the real property tax assessments for casino properties. These assessments are the product of a fatally flawed revaluation implemented by prior administrations, which placed the city's finances in peril. However, we took aggressive steps to confront this issue and created a strategy to minimize the impact of this potentially disastrous situation on all city taxpayers. The casino industry was advocating combined refunds of real estate taxes of approximately $460 million in the aggregate. Through negotiated settlements, the city was able to reduce that amount down to $130 million. We successfully marketed general obligation bonds to ameliorate the impact on non-casino businesses and residential taxpayers. The city's excellent credit rating was maintained. And I am pleased to report that Standard & Poor's changed their outlook on Atlantic City from negative to stable. We are moving forward in a positive direction. Our annual audit issued fewer recommendations and we continue to meet our goals and operate in a cost effective and stronger financial position which will ultimately phase out our memorandum of understanding with the state of New Jersey as it pertains to oversight. In the public works department, I especially 
want to commend the city's public works department. They did an outstanding job during the storm. And worked diligently to remove approximately 8 million pounds of debris from the city streets. I dare say that the Herculean task which they performed was second to none. The resurfacing of Arctic Avenue from South Carolina to Georgia is underway. We also completed renovations at the Garden Pier as part of the $2.5 million intergovernmental agreement with the CRDA. And at this time, I want to acknowledge and thank CRDA for its cooperation and partnership. Our compressed national, uh, natural gas station is under construction at our public works facility, where our solar panel project has been completed, resulting in annual savings on electricity. And speaking of green energy, did you know that Atlantic City is now recognized and fast becoming the greenest city in the state of New Jersey? Our green initiative will not only provide immediate city, and you can clap. <laughs> our green initiative will not only provide immediate savings, but it will reduce our carbon footprint and make our environment cleaner for generations to follow. Moving to planning and development, I was recently asked by a publication what my New Year's resolution would be. I responded, I am resolved to have Atlantic City emerge from under state monitoring and continue to vigorously defend our right of self-governance. I believe it is every city's right to have the fundamental power to control its destiny, even as it relates to zoning and planning. To think otherwise is just incorrect. Furthermore, the collective consensus opinion is that the one thing that the city definitely does right is zoning and planning. To our planning department's credit, our staff remained busy in 2012, working to coordinate grant preparation, assessing various projects, completing environmental remediation initiatives, and helping, and helping to formulate a community benefit agreement the first ever process by which community demands for jobs and opportunities may be heard. So this team, they and I, we collectively, are committed to making, making Atlantic City a better place to live, work, and visit. May 2013 be a very good year for us all, a healthy and prosperous year, and may God continue to bless one and all. Thank you, God bless. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Breath of fresh air. Uh, uh, in closing, I'd like to thank Mayor for a wonderful uh, indication of 2013. Uh, flowers on the table were donated by Chester's Flowers, and I will just say that closest birthday had some from Rare the Longest Heart. But uh, take them with you when you get this. Also, I'd like to thank Alan Smith. Uh, they did a great job today. Thank you, Valley staff and Valley's that management. Uh, and don't forget, Cooper Libra, Cooper Libra, on March the 11th, uh, we call it March Madness. It's a charity mix where all the money goes to charity. Uh, so please show up there and have a wonderful day and have a happy New Year. Thank you.